Hmm. Isn't everything that is visible and part of the living and most things anyway that are invisible and not living, aren't they conductors of thought? Anything that can enter awareness, anything that supports awareness, anything that can be written into with awareness, like that, maybe, um, aren't, isn't all of this conduct, conduction of thought, the living, the being, the acting, we're always conducting thoughts, and the eyes are a direct route into awareness. Because unless I'm in a vegetative state and my eyes are open, I'm aware of where my eyes are looking, generally. You don't need to be in a vegetative state to lose track of what you're looking at for a moment. That's pretty easy. But Well, yeah, that's about all I have to say about that the electricity and that metaphor you're using, I'm still unclear of why you're using the word electricity for the connection or activation power of meaning and attention and awareness, information that is up for consciousness. Um, a conscious electricity could be conceived very easily, just like there's already a well-established in our culture's common language, uh, emotional gravity of events. Um, are you using word the words like this, or are you supposing additional substances in a philosophical sense, um, additional things that are distinct from the thoughts and emotions and consciousness and things that are required for consciousness. The of thought or the electricity people are confused about that and I am too I just wonder if you could use other language or what you mean what do you because you don't mean the flow of electrons through a wire that is not information passing from one mind through the brain through the eyes to the other eyes and person get what I mean <laughs> 